Okay. Let's continue. And yeah, if you're watching this later on YouTube again, thanks for clicking, and hope you are enjoying this so far. Alright, I have to say that. Because <laughs> this is part of one long stream. Um, I'm just playing Twilight Princess for the day. If you're watching this later on YouTube in the future, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping to get a large chunk of it done today, because this is one of the longer games, and I figured just take advantage of the fact that I have a public holiday. Hey, Monolith, how's it going? Plus, I do enjoy, I did enjoy this one, so... A lot of nostalgia for me on this one. Although, admittedly, it feels weird playing it on a normal controller. <laughs> as opposed to the, uh, the Wiimote, but... Yeah. It might be a case of, like, I can't do this yet, but let's just... See. Doing well, hopefully I am. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Enjoying the long weekend. I'm not sure, yeah. It's not available yet. I can't remember if there was a day-night cycle in this. I think there was. But it's still night time. I don't think we have a way of fast-forwarding time yet. Hang on. There's no text options, damn. I was hoping it'd be a speech thing, but no. Okay. Uh, I mean, I know it's there, let's just worry about it later. I just thought maybe since we're nearby, just, uh, get it out of the way. hours already and this is just the beginning but I think it, it kind of accelerates from this point forward like just how much you do it's just the opening act is, is quite long compared to other entries are you gonna tell me to go there it's finally time for that weapon you probably know this already, yeah. I'm so helpful, aren't I? Just think of me when you use those, okay? Without a key, you cannot proceed. So, it's the Ordonian. You seem familiar, but then your clothes seem kind of different, so I got thrown off for a second. Don't you know it's dangerous to wander around the woods at night without a light? 
And that gave you a lantern, guy. Why don't you use it? It's kind of rough around here lately, so be careful, okay? There are many monsters now. I had to close the gates to the temple. But you, guy, you want to get back there, huh? You sure do look geared up for it. So here you go. Okay. Oh, yeah. The woods on the other side of the cave are covered in really thick fog. So make sure your lantern is full. You're definitely going to need your lantern a lot in there. So bring all the oil you can. And check this out. I have a special one-time offer. A bottle of lantern oil for only 100 rupees. How about that guy? I want to buy it. Okay. Buy it. Thanks, guy. Here you go. You got a bottle of oil. This is essential for lighting your lantern. Set oil and lantern to Y. Then use oil to fill the lantern. You can put all kinds of stuff in the bottle once you use all of the oil inside, guy. And hey, keep using that lantern so you'll come back and buy more oil, okay, guy? And this is, this is a businessman right here, like... Gives out stuff for free, so then you're in his ecosystem. And we have no choice but to come back and, uh, buy. My favorite thing in this game is just everything explodes when you kill it. Just violent explosion from stabbing a rat. It's kind of like Power Rangers where, you know, they would take the slightest amount of damage and then sparks would just fly. Okay, the lantern. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, no, you follow. That's right. This is, this is like a, a Lion King thing, almost. Hey, what's this monkey's problem? You idiot. While you were staring off into Dreamland, you got your lantern stolen. It's like... Teaching a very important lesson. We can get this chest later. I mean, at this point, it's like, yes, it's over there. Damn, that was a dodge. Good dodging. Okay, can I have it back now? now.
ran out of oil while you were following the monkey around. That's fine. I'll just, uh... Hopefully be able to purchase... We'll see. I think that's what these are here for, purely just so I get the money back. The money required to be able to purchase, um, the oil from this bird. How much is it? Welcome, hey, buy something, anything. Yeah. I think it works like this as well, like I can do this. There we go. And then put it away. You got a tip, little buddy. Hey, what a generous young man. Thank you, hey, thank you. Come back anytime. Oh, I think this is where you learn the saw technique. Yeah. A sword wields no strength unless the hand it holds has courage. You may be destined to become the hero of legend, but your current power would disgrace the proud green of the hero's tunic you wear. You must use your courage to seek power and you must and find that you must. Only then will you become the hero for whom this world despairs. If you do find true courage and you wish to save Hyrule from the horrors it now faces, then you'll be worthy to receive the secrets I hold. Enemies that are filled with energy will quickly recover and attack again, even when stunned by a powerful strike. Ending blow is a secret technique that you can use on stunned enemies to end their breath before they spring back into action. When an enemy lies collapsed on the ground and stunned, Z target and press A to leap high into the air and deliver a final strike. When the opportunity to end their breath is before you, you will see a finish appear vividly before your eyes. Now try it on me! Hmm, that was a pinpoint strike. Never overlook your opportunity to finish with A. The first hidden skill, the ending blow, has been passed on. Those are only for one who carries the blood of the hero, the one whose spirit is that of the sublime beast. Grow powerful, test your courage, and when you find that you need another skill to overcome the threats that face you, search for statues that howl with the sound of the wind. Seek the sound that calls to the spirit of the beast to awaken me again. A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. Remember those words. Farewell. I mean, that almost looked like that was something there, but no. Okay. Well. Time for the first dungeon. Oh, man.
I mean, this is certainly bringing back memories. I mean, the other thing is, when I did get this game, I binged it. <laughs> I played quite a bit the first day. So... It's nice to be able to do that again. Oh, they're allowed to climb up, but the moment I do that... Hey, that's the monkey that stole your lantern. Doesn't it look like she's beckoning you? Aren't you the popular one? Just a sack. Oh, does that monkey have a tattoo? What? Look, look at the monkey's arm. <laughs> I never noticed that when playing through it the first time. It has a tattoo. some nightmare fuel for you. Hmm, what are you doing turning the lights on? You might as well light them all and make the place really bright. But for some reason I didn't realize there were two more behind me. <laughs> Hold on. This is bringing back memories. The, the Gale boomerang. <laughs> what a dick. Oh, what's going on? Has there been a monkey fight? Oh no, we can't go any further. Might as well go back. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like she wants to take you somewhere. So maybe you should just follow her. Oops. Get back. I forgot what those things were. Leave it, don't touch it. Phew! 
out at last. Gracious. Once I got in there, I couldn't squeeze back out. You're a big help, thanks. I've been looking for something in here, you see. Gracious, yes. You must be... You must need something here, too. Shall we try working together for a while, fellow adventurer? I can even warp you out of here if you want to leave. You'll be able to come back to the same room anytime you want. I can be quite helpful, you see. So don't think of me as a burden. Now let's get started. Oh yeah, this thing. Look at how weird this thing looks, like... Oh, I don't know, it's chest is just so unsettling. I completely forgot about this thing, it's so weird looking. have a key though. the sound effect. Huh. You found a Hylian alphabet stamp. I don't... Is this... Was this a thing in the original? I don't remember stamps. Well, anyway, there's a wall to climb back there. I have no recollection of stamps whatsoever. This just leads me here. Doesn't really help. Can you get that for me? No. You're revisiting Dragon Age Origins and that's your entire playthrough. You don't remember this? Hmm. I don't think there's anything else to do in this room. to head, but... There's no key. But then again, she's not letting me go to the left here, either. Maybe there is something I missed here. What did I miss? Looking at the mini map down here. Well, 
Well, we don't have a compass, so I can't really see where chests are. It's just this room here. Probably the right way. I do remember this now. <laughs> and then it ends up with like a, a monkey rope situation at the end. Don't worry about it, monkeys. Just keep going. Poison, right? No? Why do you get rid of it? It's not that. I think you throw a bomb into it. Oh! Yeah. Crap. I need to throw it in. What? No. Come on. Or maybe from above. There we go. Ha. 
No. The thing just gets up and tries to eat you. to mess that one up. Okay, so yeah, there are dungeons and heart pieces into the, into here. doors I can take. <laughs> Let's start with... Which one's the smallest one? I want to see which... They both lead to dead ends. Okay. Let's start with this one. Another monkey! This one's probably the most troublesome monkey because it has the uh, the most violence of of lockups. Like, look at look at this jail cell. Reinforced. Intentional. <laughs> Completely my intent. Speedrun strat. You think this link design is the best? Oh no, yeah, it's very good. Especially the way the clothing looks.
There's more than one way to win a fight, chat. <laughs> That's not what I was going for. I was trying to slam it into the water, but... Did not work. I think we can leave here. Although there is... There is something behind. I forget how to get the one behind. I think we have to leave the room. Or kill everything in here. I can't remember. We love his tunic. His tunic is great. And not just that. The other uh, costumes as well. Like, like, I was disappointed. Because each of them... I kind of preferred where, like, red was considered the strongest, and it was, you got red, it was like, yeah, strong. But I understood that them having different purposes was, was also interesting. I, don't, I think I have to come back to this room. I'll, I'll remember it. Color of the tunic being the tier of the tunic was new to you in a link between worlds. Yeah, because that was um, a sequel to a link to the past, so they kept that system the same. So I mean, that's what I grew up with. Like the the first game, um, a link to the past. Those are the ones that had tears for the tunic. Like, the tunics for specific uses was introduced in Ocarina first. You know, it's something that I, I guess I grew to appreciate. I think the masks in Majora were a better system. A better way of doing that. Did I know you can play a Wind Waker in your PJs in New Game Plus? I did not. <laughs> I didn't bother going into it. <laughs> have you have you seen the finale to Wind Waker? I mean, when I was playing, confirming honestly. <laughs> By the end of it, I was just like, please, just let let me get through this. I just want this to, to end. Stupid heart piece. I'm not gonna let that happen again. That last heart piece broke me. Yeah, and it happened again yesterday with... With Minish Cap, like I can't believe it happened again.
Didn't watch Minish Cap since that is a game on your list of playthrough. Okay, confirm me. If I may give you one tale of caution for Minish Cap, not a spoiler, but please, with the blue seashells you collect, if you don't want to end up in a fucking disaster like I did, please go to the southwest tree in the village and trade for figurines. Constantly be doing that. I mean, try to get as many as you can just by playing with one, but do that, do that constantly. Hey. Or you're just gonna, it's just gonna be what happened to me, which is like three, three and a half hours of just gotcha machine stuff. Because the last heart piece is, is behind that 130 figurine gotcha game thing. So... I'm- I'm saying this just to prevent you heartbreak and a headache. Just do it all throughout. Just spend your shells once you have enough. Constantly be checking them and then go to town, spend them, and do that through the entire playthrough. And then hopefully you'll have a much better time than I did. That's all I'm gonna say. Cause, yeah. I- I wish I had known that. Because it would seem, you'd look at it and it's like, okay, this is something very lengthy and tedious. It's probably going to be something like you know, the Korok reward, where it's minor and, you know, you don't care about it. <laughs> Sounds similar to Link's Awakening. Well, there was a trade quest, but the trade quest got you something that was optional. It wasn't like a heart piece or anything. This is straight up, yeah, heart piece. And are uh, the figurines Nintendo characters? The figurines are uh, of characters in the game. And there's one other detail. There's one other detail that I wish I knew, but I'm not sure if you want to know it. But if you don't know this, it'll lock you out of it once you do realize it. So it's up to you, I can tell ya. It's something that is ultimately inconsequential, but I was sad that I couldn't ultimately get it. Stab the booty! This is like a Crash Bandicoot fight. <laughs> it really is. Even the music. I mean, that is scary. So chat, if we were stabbing that baboon in the butt, does that mean that the parasite was in his butt the whole time? I am the Fairy of Winds, who resides in this boomerang. You have freed me from evil, and now I have my true power back. Please, take it with you, use it to aid your quest, and may both my power and my blessing go with you. If you focus your power in your boomerang before releasing it, it will unleash the power of wind, aiding you in unforeseen ways. Game Rant says playing all the mainline Zelda games takes at least 350 hours. 
I mean, I'd believe it. I mean, here's the thing, like, I think the first three or four, I did really quickly because, like, I've played those games to death and I I think, I'm not a speedrunner, but I definitely did it pretty quickly. Probably faster than a, a blind playthrough ever would, but then, on that, on the other note, like, some have taken longer than they should have. I bet even the monkey should be satisfied now. Okay, let's continue. And most of them I, I did, I, I played half last year, so. I'd be willing to bet that a hundred of those hours just go to Breath of the Wild. Like Wind Waker, not just, yeah, not just Wind Waker. <laughs> Wind Waker, Minish Cap, Oracle of Seasons to some degree, to a very minor degree. But yes, Wind Waker, for sure. Wind Waker should have ended four hours sooner than what it did. But, I mean, hey, as long as it's entertaining to watch, I mean, you know. It's fine. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot that you have to do it like that. can never get into the first Zelda. The first Zelda is very cryptic. The only way you could do it is if you follow a guide, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It is a very different game, but I, I guess I... I hold it dearly because it was one of the first games that I played ever. And it kind of taught me how to play games. You know? Like, the whole thing where I'm stubborn definitely comes from that. So, the one thing I did do for the first time um, with the playthroughs here... Uh, I did finish the second quest, which is something that I never did, so... The second quest, holy crap. And I also played the, uh, the original Japanese version. Which has, like, a slightly different soundtrack. Well, I guess there are still some monkeys you haven't freed yet. At this point, you should just save them all and see what you get for it. I'm just kind of sad there's no easy way to play, um, Four Swords. But otherwise, I will have a playthrough of every single Zelda game viewable, so that's cool. I guess the only ones I, I would- that would be on the list would be... The really bad ones that Nintendo doesn't want to acknowledge, like the ones on <laughs> the CDI. Uh. Those would be interesting. Uh. Centipedes. Drowned. They wouldn't be. I don't think they'd be fun to play. I think they'd be interesting to play. <laughs> like, wildly different. I mean, they might be funny to watch because they're just janky and horrible. But the cutscenes, you know, they're. In... There's just so many memes about it. Okay. 
I'm on top of the heart thing. There's going to be so many in this game. If it's five pieces for one container, that, that's a lot. So... Yeah. We'll see how this goes. I, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll just... All I can say is I'll try my best. That's all I can do, really. And hopefully... Hopefully it won't end the same way. There's the previous two, three Zelda games where I'm just wasting time for several hours. This is probably just the compass, right? That happens from that end. Okay. Well, if it isn't something useful, as long as you have that, you should be able to find out where the other captured monkeys are, right? Well, not just that, the chests. Okay, apparently there's another chest in the room I was in last, which, yes, I do remember. So we'll do that first. that work? Keep Door that opens with a windmill. What are you trying to hide with this sophisticated contraption? You think you can just open something like just by turning those? I mean, that's what I thought. I'll send it back again. It... Why didn't it do anything? Is there one more that I'm missing? Or is there a specific order? What am I doing wrong? What? Am I in a tree? Ah, uh, yes. Why is this not working? I feel like I've tried almost every combination. I'm gonna hate the answer to this. I 
even though I'm gonna hate the answer. Is it the rope? It's the only difference I can see. Nope. Okay, I thought maybe that might be holding it back, but it can't be. Oh. When did that appear? Did I just not notice that until now? Wow, okay. Well, whatever. Like, I, I had to do it. it. It's... I tunnel vision so hard and then suddenly it was just there. I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> Did that just appear? Well, I mean, I figured it out. You know? At least... There wasn't that much internal screaming going on. What's the point of this wall? I thought maybe there'd be something here, but there's nothing. Thought I would get it by randomly trying. I mean, yeah. There's only so many combinations, but that implies that I was doing it in a, um, you know, a, a trial and error, and I was slowly but surely ruling out certain combinations, but I wasn't. I was just throwing the fucking thing, hoping for the best. I wasn't even keeping track of what combinations I had tried, so. I can't get, I can't get credit for that, because <laughs> I certainly was not doing it in that way. I thought maybe it just had to do with the angle that I was throwing at or something. I didn't think there'd be a specific combination. Wait, I have to go back. I just realized, no, it's back through the other door. There's the out outside part to that. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> BRB searching for the last heart piece. Okay, that's that's a good one. I'll add it. The 
this <laughs> feels like the Donkey Kong barrel situation. Okay, hang on. Let me open up my code editor. Um, where is it? I'm gonna add it before I forget. Ah, I'm not touching the stupid USB hub. Okay, uh, where am I? Where is it? There it is. Oh, yes, unplug. Unplug again. Yeah, yeah, right away. Like, five seconds. Ugh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to cave and buy another USB hub. I, I hate it. Just one more sec, chat. Just doing the redeem thing. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't think of that. I usually add them periodically. Okay. Done. It's added. Okay. Didn't I get it? I hear it. Probably below. Oh, well. Move. Move. It's this... This one? No, hang on. I'll drop in this one. Wow. Good guess. Another heart piece here. Oh no, okay. It's not that complicated to get it. this leading. There's a chest in the next room, and another monkey. Okay. Oh, but I need a key. I'm not sure I have a key. I have the big key. No, okay, so we need to get the key first. I guess in order for us to check the temple out completely, we need the help of the monkeys. Ah, well, let's help the rest of them. This was the coolest boomerang. This 
has like multi-target, but also it has the wind aspect to it. I love Phantom Hourglass's boomerang. What did that one do? It's another game I only played once and memories of it are gone. It's gonna be funny because if I get up to Skyward Sword and play it again, I don't think I'll remember it. Despite only having played it like a couple years ago. I guess that's the thing when you play a lot of games. You draw the line and it follows it, but more importantly, it lets you see past what Link can see. Right, got ya. Yeah, now, I do remember the line drawing aspect. Now this is where you have to get clever. This is so cool. Oh crap. I thought maybe deliver it directly, but I think I just have to do this. There we go, and then... In you go. I'm gonna have to think how I'm gonna fit dinner into this. <laughs> I will. Golden Sculptures don't come into play yet, so I gotta remember that as well. That this first dungeon, no need to worry. Because they're kind of obvious, they, they make a sound. There are gold sculptures, I believe so. If I'm not mistaken. Maybe there were bugs, but... There was gold in something. of time had loud as fuck skeletons. Yeah. I think it's the same case here. I know some of them you had to go into um, pits to find them. There were holes all over Hyrule that you would dig as a wolf and then that's how you found most of them. That's what I remember. I think before going to fight the final fight I did a lot of that. Okay. 
pretty much done. continue. what it is. But I mean, this one surely is simple. Okay. <laughs> That's what I was, I was expecting the other one to be. I don't I don't remember these stamps. I really don't. But it'll be it'll become apparent. It's either something I've forgotten about or it's something new. What was that? A stamp? I don't know. I don't remember stamps. Maybe a Wii thing? No, but I only played it on the Wii. Oh, you mean Wii U thing. Like, it could be something specific to this version of the game, but I don't know. It could be something that I forgot. Okay, let me just see. Twilight Princess HD Stamps. Okay, yep. It's something they introduced in the HD version. It was not in the original. That's why I don't remember it. And they're pointless because they're for the Miiverse, which doesn't exist anymore. So... I, I shouldn't feel too bad if I don't find them. Kind of glad I looked that up. So I don't have to be pedantic here. <laughs> Just a, a way, I guess, to take stuff and put it into your uh, online profiles and whatnot. And chats. This is different from both the Wii and GameCube version. I believe it is, yes. I th because the Wii, bit, the Wii and GameCube versions, the difference was that the maps were mirrored. So I'm not going to remember that. Like, it's been that long, I'm not sure what version we're playing. 
But I, I believe this is the GameCube version, but then it has modifications from the Wii version. So it's kind of like this weird mix of the two. So like the map is the GameCube version, but then other stuff is the Wii version. And then they introduce new things. Excuse me, did I just accidentally do that? That worked. They didn't realize this game was released three times. Oh. Yeah, this is the Wii U version, the uh, HD version. So this is considered the definitive way to play it because, yeah, better graphics, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they don't work, hang on. Wii motion controls are definitive. I can play it with the Wii motion controls here if I wanted to. That's what I'm saying, it's the definitive version of the game because it allows everything. This, this sound. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, you dick. Got it. Uh, I think, no, that did not work. Oh. Apparently that did, okay. I don't have to take both of them. <laughs> I just jumped straight to the end, okay. Oh man, when you want to fight as well, it, it felt pretty good. Well done. That's what I was looking for. That diffused shadow. It's what the light spirit called dark power. Do you remember what the spirit said? About how you had to match the power of the king of shadows? Could it really be so easy? Is this all there is to it? There's a total of three fused shadows. I think the other light spirits have the rest. If you want to know exactly what few shadows are, well, maybe I'll tell you if you find the other two. 
I guess you'd better do your best to find them, huh? So let's not waste any more time here when we could be looking for the other two. I'll get you out of here. You pick up the heart container that fell out of that thing. Okay, see, this is what I appreciate about this game as well. It asks you before you step into it if you want to leave. So we're not going to have the same accident as Wind Waker. I'll say hey, Sandy. <laughs> like, this is why this is, this is highly rated for me, this game. Heroic Lunk. Do not think that Hyrule is now saved from the spread of Twilight. Leave these woods and go to the east where you will find the land protected by the Spirit Elden. There you will find those you seek. But know that these lands lie in twilight. They are now a dark realm covered by the, the clouds of dusk. If you set foot beyond the curtain of twilight, you will revert to your beast form. So, be prepared. Hero chosen by the gods. Leave these woods and go to the east. To the land of Elden. That's better. Searching should be much easier now. But of course, you feel the need to go help the other light spirits, don't you? Well, don't worry. When you turn into a beast again, I'll take good care of you. The first thing you need to do is find the land covered in twilight. Once you do, I'll help you out. See you later. Yeah, and then we're going to enter... I believe that's the area that, like, has my favorite theme. I want to see if the goat herding thing is available, though, because that is a heart piece. I just want to be sure. It is daytime, so... I'm trying to think what I could get for food that would be, like, easy to eat, <laughs> so I can continue. Where'd you get them duds? So, still in one piece, huh? Good to hear it. <sighs> Bud, you went through a rough time while you were gone, and yeah, beasts showed up and attacked the village. They didn't do much to damage the buildings, but the tots, they took the young tots. Ilya's gone missing too. They probably got her too. Hey, Lunk. If you're running around out there, you gotta find them tots. Yeah, but like... Russell had a go around with the monsters that took the tots, but... 
he took a beating doing it. And the mayor's gone looking, but he's all alone and old. That's why we need you, see? Leave the ranch to me. Go find them tots. Hang on. I think I need to get on a pona to do this. I'm assuming a pona's still around. Yeah, we're not reunited. Okay, we need to wait then. But eventually I do have to come back here and um, do the goat herding minigame. I wanted to see if I could get it done early, then I can kind of forget about this part of the map, because there's not a whole lot to do here. I mean, maybe there might be a heart piece that I'm not remembering. I'll explore it properly once I have full control, I guess. I think this is still the opening areas. It's just, I, I don't have fast travel, I don't have the horse, I can't freely shift from wolf to human form. It's just, do what you can and then move on. I can't remember if it's faster to travel like this. I don't think it is. I think it's just... In other games, it's definitely faster to roll, but I think this one, it doesn't matter. So you just walk. Uh, I do want to go back to the woods because I think now that Miasma's disappeared... And there was a chest in there. Let me just have a quick look. No, it still hasn't cleared. Oh. Okay, we'll come back later. That's so bizarre. I would have thought killing that monster would have done it. Alright, well. I was going off vague memories. There is stuff to do there. I just, it's probably later. Guy, how's the oil level on your lantern? Uh, yeah, do it. I mean, may as well. I do not have bombs yet, so okay, keep that in mind. Go, overworld theme. I really do like the overworld theme quite a bit on this one.
scoop. Oh. I mean, that's bait. <laughs> I can't. I don't have an empty bottle. Okay. Well. Oh. You know what? Maybe this is what I'm remembering. The bugs. Still. Okay, well, we're gonna try and do that. I know we're supposed to be heading east, but I'm having a look around the fields and seeing what we can do. I mean, I guess I am heading east, technically, so we're fine. I don't know why the map is so zoomed out. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Go no further. There is a black wall ahead that blocks the way. I thought I would deliver a few letters, but it seems impossible. I am the honorable and dependable letter carrier known to some as the postman. Now that I've introduced myself, please take this letter and read it at your leisure. Okay. You can do that to read any letters you receive. Do it whenever you see fit. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. <laughs> I have a letter for you. I will approach at high speed. Please do not flee. Okay, that's it. Hey, it was much closer than I thought. You remember, right? You know what this is? If you set foot in there, you might be a wolf again for quite some time. For at least as long as it takes for you to save the light of El Elden from Twilight anyway. Shall we try to go see the light of Elden? I guess it's just warning you. Want me to let you in the twilight? Get over here! That's a good boy. Now you need to listen to what I say from now on. Oh, look, how lovely. The black clouds of twilight are so fetching today. I feel so much more at ease here. And you look so much better like this than in those dusty old clothes anyway. So let's get going. Should always be in this form for digging spots. So like right ahead. Big glowy spot.
Oh. You learn the use sent. See, isn't that being a wolf more convenient? Now use X to hone your senses. You've begun to reawaken as a wolf, I think. What's this? That's strange. The bridge is gone. I wonder if this is the work of the sa shadow creatures. Ugh, what a pain. Oh well, let's look for it. You, get out your map. The yellow arrow marks where you are. You knew that, right? Whenever you destroy these creatures from the darkness, a portal opens that looks like this. You hear me? It's called a portal. You better remember that. And in those woods we came through... Yes. It's gotta be around there. I'll use my power to take you to the location of the open portal. Pick where you want to go. See, I told you. We're here. You know, most people can't leave the twilight that easily. You'd better be grateful. It's your job to look for the bridge. Look hard. Oh, you mean, you mean this thing? Wow, it's perfect, don't you think? What do you think? Should we take it? Good little obedient wolf. I completely forgot about this. <laughs> yeah! I mean, that's quite the power to be able to lift things that heavy. See? Just as I thought. <laughs> so, isn't the power of Twilight amazing? Call me if you need that power again. It should help you find what we were looking for, don't you think? Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore you. Huh? What are they doing there? This is a pretty elaborate gate. What are they trying to keep in or out? I bet it'll be worth our while to dig in.
Yeah. This area has the best theme in this game. The hero who was transformed into a blue-eyed beast in the realm of shadows in twilight. This way. I am a spirit of light. Hero chosen by the gods. Look for my light. Gather the light stolen by the shadows into this. If you fill it with tears of light, you'll be able to cut through the twilight and return light to this place. Okay. The insects of darkness, they are the form taken by the evil that attached itself to my scattered light. In this shadowy twilight, the shadow insects are invisible, much as the people from your light world are. With the last of my power, let me mark on your map with the locations of the tears that have been turned into shadow insects. But be careful. The darkness now haunt hunts you. Cripes. Mm -hmm. How the heck am I supposed to babysit someone else's little brats when I ought to be saving myself? Hey, you can climb up there. Oh, let's <laughs> just fall through the roof. They're alive. Cripes, I don't see those black brutes anywhere. They've got to be hiding somewhere, waiting for their helpless little prey to come out. Then they'll feast. We are safe as long as we remain in here, child. Be at ease. Oh yeah, I wonder if the monsters out there agree with you. They sure didn't seem impressed by my bombs. How long do you think we can hold a sanctuary against beasts that strong, huh? Once the attack, it's over. Remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her, and a whole gang from town went to save her. And what happened? She was already gone, and there were two monsters waiting. You connecting the dots? That means if we get attacked by them, then we'll be... BONDS! <laughs> Look, Renato, Renato. All I mean to say is that it's risky here too. Ain't you got some place we can hide? There is a cellar. <laughs> what? You've got a cellar? Where's the entrance, man? The entrance to the cellar is designed to open when all of the candles have been lit. I would not do that. When father instructed me to secure the cellar, I saw insects like the beasts outside. Don't cry, Beth. It'll be okay. Lunk is coming to save us all. Huh? Oh? Hmm. 
I can feel it. <laughs> These kids knew you'd come save them. What a hero. How sad to be right in front of someone and not be noticed at all. You are chosen by the gods, and only that keeps you from turning into a spirit, or worse, into a dark monster when you enter twilight. And no one knows what you have done. You may be doomed to toil in obscurity forever. You are the type to worry about everything, I can tell, but don't fret over Princess Zelda. She chose the state of affairs after all. Anyway, what's with having to light candles to get to the basement? Not very subtle, is it? So, what are you going to do now, my lonely little hero? Wait, the option was there to pick it up, why is it? There. Oh, there we go. Aww. The option is to put them into danger. <laughs> We'll have to keep this in mind. How about that? Looks like you can climb the scaffolding. Aww. Is this Dumpy's graveyard? Let me just see if there's anything around I can do here. things are so freaky.
This is another one. Oops. <laughs> oh, no, I thought there may be more to this. That's another way forward. Guess it's just in the back room. I need to smoke it out. Where's my fire? There we go. Alright, we can leave. Another one in this building. Oh, I thought I could smash it, <laughs> just break the glass. Oh, come on. Yeah, I thought so. Raw vandalism. It's another fire thing. Oh no. Huh? 
What did you do? Sorry, but as romantic as this is, I'm not going to stay here with you. I'm getting out. Psst. Just bails. Hmm. I don't suppose there are any nicer way to hunt these things, huh? Well, you had to sacrifice someone's house to find tears of light, but that's how the cookie crumbles, right? I wonder if there's a way to do that without blowing the house up. <laughs> I've made someone homeless. Oh, what? No, come on. I should have been able to make that jump. If you don't help us... Wait. But that's not what... Oh, the really? That's all it was? Alright, now it's doing it. If you're done with your errand, let's get out of here. I didn't mean to do that. Stupid bats. Okay, leaving. There's three remaining. Looks like this path is impossible, but I can get you up if you want to go. stuff to do. You can see it. Steam. Oh, 
to go through this all again. Death Mountain! Just the three of them? Just the three of them. Alright, there's four. Where's four? Oh, over here. Wait, what? Jeez. Alright, the rest of you. See it. Why do I have to stand guard at a dead end at the bottom of a cliff like this? Wait a second, have they tucked me out of the way because they think I'm useless? Another fumarole. And once again, it's in the worst possible place. I suppose this path is impossible now. Excuse me. Say the bug. It's there.
The vessel of light is full of tears and light has returned to this area. Aw, oh, I was just starting to have fun. Don't forget that fused shadow. <laughs> See you later. My name is Elden. I am one of the light spirits of Hyrule. I am the spirit that guards these lands. A great hero chosen by the gods. The dark power you seek lies in the sacred grounds of the proud mountain dwellers. But already those grounds have been defiled, draped in shadow and seeded with evil. You must go to those sacred grounds and cleanse them. Blanc? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that side look. See, Beth, I told you Lunk would save us. You are the one from Ordon. Whom these children spoke of. We are well met. I am Renan, Renato, shaman of this town. And this. <laughs> this is my daughter, Luda. <clears throat> the base took us and left us to die. But Mr. Renato found us. At first, I couldn't believe they had come from so distant a place as the Ordona province. Yeah, I, I we don't remember much. All of a sudden, everyone was captured, and then until now, it's been like... A nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it was like a terrible dream, and we couldn't wake up. Maybe nightmares are everywhere these days, it seems. This village has certainly seen its share of recent hardships. The Dark Beasts attacked, but even worse was the sudden and inexplicable change in the mountain-dwelling Goron tribe. They had long been our friends, but suddenly they treated us as foes. Even now they refuse to permit us entry into their minds. It strains the limits of belief to think that such a gentle and proud tribe could change so suddenly. It makes me wonder if something in those minds is the cause of the change of this. This change didn't read it properly. In any case, you must take these children and flee this village before more nightmares descend. I, of course, cannot leave my village in such a time. There is no telling what may happen to us here. But it is my job to try and coax... 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 <laughs> English! The Gorons back from their recent change of heart. What are, what's with the looks? Pokes. I don't want to leave all these people just to save ourselves. Come on, Lunk, can't you do something? Isn't there some way to make up with the Gorons? You'd think someone could go to the mines and do something. <laughs> Lunk, trying to go near the mines is very dangerous. I will be very sad to be separated from Colin and the others, but I know they must go. Please return them safely to their parents. 
I did not know what is in the Goron minds, but surely they will soon come to understand it and write what is wrong. Do not concern yourself with me and my son. You must flee this place as quickly as you can. I mean, this is all sorted now, right? Okay. Chat. <laughs> Intermission time. And by that, I mean I'm gonna get some dinner. I couldn't think of really anything I could make quick enough, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go make some food, and then come back, and we'll continue this, so I don't know how long I'll be. I'm gonna aim for half an hour, but like, an hour at worst, so... But then, of course, it'll just fall into the territory of the usual evening stream. I don't know. <laughs> I know it's late for some of you, but yeah. I'm getting really hungry, so I need to sort that out. So, human streamer must go eat. But I do hope you have been enjoying this so far. I know I have. This game's great. Alright, but yeah. Give me, like, about an hour. At most, and uh, we'll continue the rest of this. But otherwise, this is where we bid farewell for the time being. So yeah, thanks for tuning in thus far. <laughs> 